Okay. Chris Stance says, I have the exact body composition I want. Given I don't want to build any muscle, weird, how should I approach squatting and improving numbers? So, we talked about this a few weeks ago. And we talked about, and we went into pretty in depth in this, you know, and how, like, um, neurological, lighter powerlifters, Chris, I assume you're a powerlifter, overplay the role of getting better at the same body weight. And it's, it's such just, a limiting factor. It's a hugely limiting factor. So, for example, if we look at one of the best kind of longitudinal studies on elite athletes in relation to, for example, strength sports. So Soviets were some of the best and most comprehensive sports scientists, maybe not the most morally righteous sports scientists ever, but they had decades of sports science, right? And they had loads of young athletes and they followed them through and they'd purposely channel certain athletes through one f- factor or another and they'd follow their athletics athletes and they'd follow their weightlifters. And one of the main things they, f- they say and they found with their strength training athletes, so with their weightlifters, was that cutting body weight or not gaining body weight for weightlifters was one of the limiting factors and could shorten the lifter's career or stunt it prematurely if you didn't gain enough body weight. So we talked about this before. So there's like a couple of ways you get stronger. So there's like, you know, just kind of like neurological fix, efficiency, um, motor unit firing, like the sequences of those, how fast they fire. Uh, there's things like antagonist coactivation. We've been all over these loads of times before, right? And But also one of the ways you get stronger is by gaining hypertrophy. Now, all of these other ones overplay themselves very, very soon into your training. So after two or three years of training, if you've diligent training, and you've good genetics, your speed isn't going to increase that much. Your antagonist coactivation reduces with time over just experience of strength training as your body gets used to it. Your coordination gets better. You can improve these, but these will be very, very small improvements in strength. So we're talking like 5% less, maybe total between all of those, maybe a little bit more. Um, if you're using drugs for example this would change the game you could de- change your kind of neurological factors you can change those and exponentially increase those but Chris assuming you're not on drugs the only factor of those few that I've mentioned there is gaining body weight so what you have to do is you need to gain some body weight you need to gain some muscle mass you need to gain some muscle tissue uh, to improve if you've got to a stage where you have milked all the gains from your current body weight and your current body composition uh, otherwise the gains will come very very slowly and you'll end up in a position where you just won't be progressing to be honest i've only ever come across one of these situations ever where the person is genuinely like more muscle will be bad and that's in the case of like somebody who's like a male model and he won't get any more work if he's bigger and like if his shoulders are just that much bigger but you you really have to play up then like you're not going to want heavier squats you're not going to want heavier deadlifts that's just something you're kind of telling yourself you want. If you're in the first case Owen talked about, and I know we did talk about this a few weeks ago, if you're in the first case Owen talked about where you're like, oh no, I'm 75 kilos now and I, I want to keep pushing this because I want to get the triple body weight or 3.5 times body weight, it's just not It's not long term a good thing. It You're much better off looking at actual numbers uh, on the bar, actual weights lifted, uh, in competition or in wherever and let that be your the factor you're chasing don't be the double body weight or 2.5 times body weight or anything like that now look if you are if you're just a recreational strength athlete and you're competing is new priority and getting stronger squatting numbers whatever is a minor priority you can accept slower progress but it'll be much much slower but be honest with yourself and set the goals you want and then approach them in a way that will maximize those goals as opposed to you know, not really improving anything. So I hope that answers your question, yeah. Chris. Scott Kerr wants to know, why is it that some people are able to rep out 170 by eight, like nothing on the squat, but struggle to hit 100? Uh, then the likes of me can do 170 by five, but I can do 200. So this is...